Hello, good evening. It is Kimberly, and this is Dan. Dan, and we're going to do our second cook with us. And what are we making this evening, Daniel? Just uh, a quick overview. Yeah, we're having uh, sourdough, avocado, and scrambled egg. Yeah. Also, uh, with uh, paneer hummus. hummus, sorry, yep. and uh, paneer cheese. Fine. Yeah. So it's going to be a take on the traditional healthy dish which should be sourdough toast with some avocado smashed and some egg but we have got some paneer cheese to use up we have this um block this is one of my favorite cheeses to have in the indian restaurant with rice they make it in cubes so i'm going to try and fry this in a block and see how this comes out i'm sure it'll be very nice um and we're gonna uh put hummus as Dan said, smashed avocado, scrambled egg. And the reason I'm making this tonight is last night we sinned, didn't we, Daniel? We had a McDonald's and that's super not healthy. Tomorrow we're probably going to eat out. We might have a Giros wrap. So tonight is healthy night and um, I want to make an effort to be healthier. So that's why we're doing a bit of cook with us type programs um or videos you know okay so we're going to start off so daniel the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the eggs so we've got nice quality eggs here they're from the happy egg company so i don't normally buy the cheapest eggs i normally get halfway decent um eggs so here they are so i'm just going to get myself a uh, large obviously washed cup and i'm going to crack some eggs in here with some milk and I'm going to do my scrambled eggs actually in the microwave and um, so we're going to get the egg mix ready first aren't we Daniel mm -hmm. okay are we going to do four eggs worth or five eggs worth six eggs worth how hungry are you Danny um, well I only want it on one piece of toast so, so maybe... four eggs is that enough yeah, for both of us, right yeah. okay so I'm going to crack the eggs right if, you, if I could if you just bring me that bin please Dan that'd be great and I'm just going to get these cracked guys so I will have my back um, turn to you as I'm doing this but it's a fun thing to do and actually our first cook with us video got um, some views and one hour of watch time so you never know we could get famous couldn't we Daniel mm, who knows who knows what the future holds but it, it's good fun to do these videos and um, what I'm going to do I'm just going to get a spoon there's just a few tiny bits of um, shell nothing nothing that um bad i'm quite good with um eggs but um there's always a little bit okay next thing guys when you're making your scrambled eggs in the microwave is a bit of milk so i'm going to get this mixture whipped up and i'm going to get a fork and just going to whip this up and then after we've got to check daniel if this is a microwavable cup because I'm not sure. We have to check that. We'll check it in a minute. So we are just whipping the eggs, aren't we, Daniel? Now, yeah, well, Daniel. just transferring to the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Danny's just helping me. He's mainly going to do the toast bit, aren't you, Danny? But you know what? It's a bit of a. It's an fiddly... important job. Yeah, it's a fiddly thing to do, isn't it, Cook Daniel? Because me and Dan, we're both tired by this time of the night. But you know what? Um, it's really important to eat healthy. And. Um, this is quite a nice tasty dish um what we're also going to use is some lemon on our smashed avocado which is um quite healthy isn't it daniel mm -hmm. so small steps small steps but I, as i said i'm quite happy that we are cooking a bit more now right let's have a look underneath it doesn't say whether this is microwavable or not actually but it's got um metallic on it so i'm a little bit worried so we might transfer that in a minute. Um, let's just see, maybe I should. Okay, what's this one? Is this one? Oh, there's actually, this one is, this is microwave safe, and that could be a cool one, because that's got loads of room for the eggs. So Danny's gonna just transfer this into this Halloween cup, which I love. Look at all the cute little cats on it. So you transfer that, and then, oh, needs a bit more whipping, doesn't it? We've got quite a lot of eggs in here and you can make scrambled egg with anything from one egg. But the thing is, 
it's better to have from two because um, one egg is not really going to give you enough. Okay, so Dan's going to transfer that. The next thing I want to do is get a pan. This is a new pan we bought recently. We did our stir fry in this pan, didn't we, Dan? And um, I'm going to put these eggs to the side. Now, don't put that in the microwave quite yet because we've sort of got to time it. Leave the forking, we're going to use it to to whisk. I'm going to balance that there because that will need to be uh, used to whisk that up. Okay, so I'm going to just, um, Danny's going to take this out of the packet. You have just to peel that, but it might, you might have to lean on there because it might um, go on the, uh, you might flip out of the pack. Right, so I'm going to heat up a hob. So what have we got here? Just going to see. I'm just heating my hob up. I've got my pan. I need to go mad. Yeah, be careful, Daniel, because that's quite difficult to put, yeah, lean on there because um, knowing my situation, the block of cheese will fly out and uh, we'll have no paneer cheese and that's the bit that I'm actually excited about. Okay, so um, I'm going to put a bit of clover in the pan and... Um, yeah, the first steps that we've got is the eggs and the cheese. So it's going to be good, isn't it, Daniel? We'll have a nice healthy dinner tonight. Um, not yet until I put a bit of this in, but nearly. Okay, let's just get this nice and thing. And then what I'll have to do is slowly uh, start coughing eggs once we get this block of cheese in. It's nearly there. Show the camera the cheese. <laughs> Show them this big block of paneer. Um, and I have paneer um, rice at the Indian. It's, it's really nice. It's a little bit like goat's cheese, and they make it in blocks. And this seems to be heating up. I don't want it to. Ah, oh, there we go. Because I just don't want to heat too much. It's melting the butter, everybody. It's smelling nice, isn't it, Daniel? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this cheese is actually going on about. We have to use it up by a certain day. Okay, pop that in gently, Daniel. It. and we have got this big block of cheese now in the pan um right let's start slowly cooking the eggs Danny. so we can't put the fork in here but we can put this in here so what we do i'm going to put these in and we're going to periodically check them and fluff them up with a fork it's exciting so we're just going to start with a minute on the eggs now I'm just going to lower the pan heat slightly um, and I've got my spatula and uh, just see see uh, um, what I might actually do is cut up the block of cheese a bit as well so Dan's just going to keep an eye on the eggs quite a tough cheese this one so I'm just cutting it into strips everybody I know that you guys can't see but if I set the phone lower it's going to um, fall I've actually got these into strips now right so pull that out because I need to just whip, whip it around with a fork yeah how's it looking is it starting to get a bit more yeah because what happens is slowly the egg will start to thicken a bit. Um, so you're saying as yet, Daniel, it hasn't got any thicker yet. Okay, another minute then. Just a minute at a time. Oh, this cheese looks lovely. Uh, it's actually, the cheese is working. Look at this, Daniel. So. Like yeah, yeah. Look at the cheese, everybody. <laughs> this looks really nice. I've actually cut it into strips, but I might even put it into blocks now. Right, just be careful of that. Oh, Daniel, yeah, you can heat that for the toast. We've got some lovely sourdough. Um, the milk can go back in, probably, Daniel. That can go back in the fridge. And so can these eggs, because then it just keeps it tidy. I'm going to keep these utensils here. And it's always good when you cook if you can tidy as you go along. 
but obviously, you know, if you can't as well. Now I'm going to cut the paneer into smaller bits. This is lovely, Daniel. Look at this. Here's the paneer. And I'm just keeping my hob uh, temperature uh, sort of around four ish, because if I set it too high, the tea will be burned. And I just want to make it golden on the outside. And nice in the inside, so I need to cook it just to the right amount. In fact, now I've made this paneer cheese, I'm thinking I might make rice one night and put it in rice. What, have you put four pieces on, Danny? Yeah. Okay, so Danny, do I need to show them you put them in the sourdough? Show them the again, yeah? Four nice, nice sourdough. It's better for you than oil, it's getting quite toasted now. Right, I've got to turn this down. The cheese is getting a bit, woo, a bit pan now. I'm going to just bring that heat right down. And all of a sudden that's really toasty. Got to bring that right down now, Daniel, because otherwise it will Right, egg. Yep, yep. Oh, okay, I'm going to take this off the hob a bit because it's for some reason I'm going to just turn it off because it has actually started to go like, um, it's started to go quite brown. Not burnt, it's not burnt. It's not burnt, but the pan is very, very hot now. The pan is hot and we don't want to burn that, do we, Daniel? We don't want to burn that. That's off now. I'm just going to actually... No, yeah, I, I just want to, I, I know, I'm just going to take that. it off. Right now, then you need to open the smashed avocado so that's ready for the bread. Keep this here. And open that and then keep an eye on the toast as well. And, um, let's see. <laughs> see if that's, um, good. I'm having a bit of cheese. <laughs> Mm. That is delicious. It hasn't got a strong taste though. It's lovely. Okay. Um. How's the oh look? Right, that looks like near done. Right, how's the toast, Danny? Because that egg's looking like it's nearly. Wow, show them how fluffy that egg is, Daniel, in the camera. <laughs> we nearly finished eggs, so now we're going to do so the toast. Maybe 30 seconds more, so, because it's still a bit of while you've been on the mm. toast, but that's it. The toast is on, so we're just going to keep everything nice and warm. Um, Dan's opened the smashed avocado. I'm going to open the hummus as well. This is for the washing up. I'm going to get two plates, clean plates, and just have these out here. This is all, as I said, done to be washed up, so I won't mix that up. Um, so things are moving along now quickly, so I'm going to grab um, and open the hummus. Um, and that thing, I think they smell like they're sort of done. Got a basic hummus, um, but I buy a different ones. Sometimes I buy the finest. Um, it just depends. Any hummus is fine, and it's a healthy food. So, yeah. Right, I'm gonna give that to Dan, and I'm gonna check these. And how's the? Um, I just turned it. How's so. it looking? Is it nice and golden brown? Yeah, I just. Well, this looks nice now, Daniel. Wow. Shit, there's it going everywhere. Um, so, the reason why you need to use extra eggs, guys, is because the eggs shrink as you cook them. So, uh, this is just about right, because I think if we'd have gone more, it would have gone too dry, wouldn't it, Daniel? So in total, how many minutes did we give this roughly? Was it about four or three? Uh, no, it was two and a half. So yeah, they've cooked quickly, Daniel. And now that I've 
stirred that up, they're actually, if I, I would have cooked them any longer, or if Danny pressed button any longer, they would have been too dry. So I'm just putting that, there's a bit loose there on the side. So we've got a scrambled egg <laughs> in the Halloween cat mug. And I have got no makeup today apart from foundation. I haven't put anything on my eyelashes. Um, no stick on strip lashes. I'm giving my um, skin a bit of a breather. So yeah, we're getting towards the end of this cooking process now and I will show you it once it's done. Right, how's that looking going on? Wow. Okay. See, teamwork makes the dream work, doesn't it, Dan? Oh, look at that. Show them that perfectly toasted piece of bread. Yeah, okay. So um, for mine, I'm going to have one bit with butter and one bit with smashed avocado. So we're making it now, guys. Look at that. Do you want me to start? Do you want me to... Um, what are you having on yours? Are you having um, butter on one? Or? No, because I'm going to put hummus on that. Okay, tell the camera then, Daniel, what, how you're going to do yours. Because then they can know about their... Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll have one piece of toast, I'll just put in this bag. With egg and avocado, and one piece with hummus. Okay, and so then you... Yeah, and I'm going to have one piece with flora, or clover. And, yeah, if you switch that off at the thing, are all the hobs off? Yep. That's not, no. Don't forget the grill. That's all got to be pointed up, yeah, because that's that's dangerous, even if it's off of the wall. You must turn your cookers off, everybody. It's very important. Okay, so um, that, okay, so we're going to do this now. So should I get you a different knife for your avocado, Daniel? All right. So open that avocado for me, please. I'll move these over here, shall I, to make it easier for you, and then we can spin after. So Danny is now peeling back the uh, smashed avocado. And then just spread on um, mine some and then on yours some. And then obviously I'll put the egg on next. I'll put your, shall I put your plate above like that and then I'll move this here. Did you want a squirt of lemon on or are you not too worried? I don't think I'm that too worried really. You can squeeze fresh lemon on, but I just think <laughs> I've been good to get this far with the cooking. Um, and then mine, uh, you do yours. That was mine, I beg your pardon. Um, I'm leaving the kitchen nice and tidy. Danny will be washing up today because he tends to do that. Clover's going away. And they're always nice if there's two of you. I bought the ingredients. We cook together, he's washing up, so yeah. And then afterwards, we're gonna have a cupcake, aren't we, Daniel? Why not? We're gonna have cupcake because um, I've been on a bit of a healthy thing recently and um, I really want a cupcake. Okay, um, eggs ready next, Daniel? Um, yeah, actually, put this on just for the light because you know I can't really see. Right, where are you having your egg, Daniel? On the avocado. Right, okay. Oh. Yeah, scoop some. Yeah, scoop it out. Twenty fourth. Yeah. Twenty fourth. Yeah. I mean, this is very, 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 very healthy. Very healthy. This is what. You get at a brunch place. Right. Just tell me, sort of. I'll just hold it. If that, yeah. That is actually just enough, isn't it, for two? I think if we'd have used any less, it's just a bit fiddly to get out. It's just a bit fiddly. Sorry if it's not exact. Um, right, so you can move that about a bit if you want, Daniel. And um, cheese is the next bit, isn't it, Dan? Um, you might want to keep a fork because we're, we're going to need another fork because we've been using a lot of them. You need one more fork for you, right? Cheese. So we're going to half this, yeah? So, how many? Yeah, to make it easier, do you just want to put the cheese on these? 
No, it's all right. I can put. Yeah, I'll put like I'll put just sort of. On the other part, don't oh, you don't want it on the. Okay, okay. Put it on there. So you want a side plate, Daniel? Yeah, because there's no room. Right. How are we going to eat with that? Um, eat that with, on our lap side. You can put it on the side next to you. I'll put it on the right, tray. Okay, all right. Um, so that's yours. This is mine. I'm just going to put mine actually on here. This actually sweet chili sauce would be nice on this cheese. I don't know if it would go with the um, um and then where's my humus, Daniel? I put it on your plate. Where on my oh I see it's there. Okay, right. Oh yeah. Okay. So Daniel's got his difference for me. So this is mine, and then Daniel shows it. This is mine, this is um Avocado, sourdough, scrambled egg, paneer, and some hummus in the corn. Daniel's done his differently. Yeah, show yours, Daniel. That's good. Yeah, and then we can have a little can with it, a mini can. Yeah. I'll have a Dr. Pepper, please, if there is one. And we're going to enjoy our dinner. We're going to say bye to our viewers and thank them for watching. Okay, thank you and goodbye. Oh, and me as well. Okay, bye. Now you can do it. <laughs> thank you.